Alright, so uh, what's up guys, this is T Dano. I'm bringing you a very short vlog video today. Actually, a very surprise, um, because I didn't plan on going to Comic Con or Baltimore Comic Con this year, but uh, this morning I woke up, got a text from one of my friends, and he just totally reminded me that Comic Con was happening in Baltimore. And it's going to be at the convention center, the same convention center that I went to Otakon to, um, went for Otakon, I mean. And, um, yeah, it's just a really short vlog just to show you what it was like and, um, whatnot. At the end of the video, I'll probably attach maybe, uh, Comic Con haul. I, I did buy some stuff about a lot of stuff, actually. And, um, yeah, so we'll see how that turns out. And, um... You know, just enjoy a really short vlog. It isn't, it isn't that much. I, I guarantee that's not that much. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Surprise for you guys. Uh, if you watch my vlogs... Oh, look at that nice ash over there. But, um, yeah. If you watch my vlog, I was here a couple months ago for Otakon 2015. But now I am back randomly for Comic-Con. Baltimore Comic-Con. Not the Comic-Con in New York or San Diego. Um, Baltimore Comic-Con is a bit smaller than... Um, your average Comic Con, um, way smaller in terms of scale. Uh, so I randomly just decided to come here with uh, a couple of friends, and we're gonna check out the Comic Con um, event. And of course, today is September 25th, which is officially Batman Day. So I'm gonna look for some Batman comics too, because I'm a huge Batman fan. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys a little glimpse of what Baltimore Comic Con looks like. Uh, upstairs, it's not really much. That's a ticket area right there. Um, like I said, it's not as big as the other Comic Cons, it's not even as big as Otakon, so yeah, it's just showing you guys a short glimpse. And um, right now I'm waiting for my friends, and once I hook up with them, we're gonna um, walk around and I'll show you guys what it looks like at Baltimore Comic Con. Oh, cool, this is bigger than I imagined. Trying to find some deals today, dude. It's Batman Day. They should have like co Batman comics for like a dollar or something. They do. They do? Yeah, Shit. they do. He's got to find them. All right. <laughs> Time to go hunting. Let's be filming this place real quick. Wow. So I just got like six shirts. Um, I'll probably show you guys later, but just continuing to film the area for a bit. Show you guys the rest of the uh, lot looks like. All graph areas over there. Guys, so I'm um, sorry for the mess, but I'm going to show you guys what I got from the um convention center of uh, Baltimore Comic Con this year. Um, tomorrow, I know that Katie Cassidy from Arrow is going to be there. She plays the Black Canary. And also, the um, I think his name is Paul Blackthorn. He also is on Arrow. He plays Detective Lance. And um, I don't know if I'll be able to go to see them, to be honest. Um, I would like to go, but the tickets for their autograph booths are already sold out. So I don't think I'll be able to make it to um, their autographs. Today, I went. Mingna Wynn was there, the voice of Mulan. She's also on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. But... Um, you know, it's just, you know, Comic-Con, I, I didn't expect Baltimore Comic-Con to have, you know, so many cool guesses. So, um, I should probably look into it next year. So, let's, uh, let's start the shirts. Um, I got six shirts from this Graphic Tee, uh, booth. It was pretty cool. They were, um, they are all pretty cool, pretty cool additions. Um, let me see. Here is a bag, um, showcasing their, um, team. 
Here's the graph graffiti t uh, designs gallery edition. Um, and of course, on the back, there's Batman right here. It's celebrating 75 years of Batman today, which is September 25th, 2015. Mm. Yeah, so um, I got the Batgirl shirt. This is the new 52 one, the bat side, uh, the bat, the Batgirl and Burn side, I believe. This is a uh, pretty cool design. So I got her. This is an Arrow T-shirt. Uh, if you can see closely, he's stuck on an island, and you add in a bow, and you get the green arrow from there. Uh, you can't really see it because of the uh, bag, but it's you essentially, you essentially get the idea. Um, here is a Nightwing shirt. I got another Nightwing shirt. Pretty, pretty cool, I must say. Uh, next up, we have Star Labs. Um, see Star Labs from the Flash TV show. I am a huge fan of the Flash TV show. Really, really good show. Um, of course, here's the Flash T-shirt. As you can see, his logo, and of course, another Batman shirt with the. Uh, it's like a Batman logo with the city in the background. It's a pretty cool design. All right, so let's move on to the main stuff, the comics. Um, oh, let me show you my uh, decals real quick. Here is also the golden uh, logo for the Flash right here. This is for the upcoming Batman and Superman movie. Batman v Superman. And uh, right over here, we have uh, Batman Hush, one of the greatest Batman storylines out there. Uh, at least that's what I'm told. I, I honestly believe it is, too. I know a little bit about it. So I got I picked up the trade mark for it, a trade book for it, um, trade print, the hardcover version, however you want to say it. Uh, and, yeah, I'm pretty excited to read it. Got my man Nightwing right here, the new 52 Volume 1. This is uh, him in his red attire, attire instead of his blue one. Um, up next, we have a lot of Batman volumes right here. As you can see, Batman Volume 1, The Court of Owls. Uh, there's Batman Volume 2 right here, The City of Owls. Now, I didn't buy this at Comic-Con. I actually went to Books a Million to buy it because they didn't, I couldn't find Volume 2 at the uh, con. Um, volume 3, Batman, Death in the Family, or Death of the Family. And, of course, Volume 4, Secret City. Alright, moving up. One of the most classic Batman stories, of course. Alan Moore, uh, Brian Bolin, Batman the Killing Joke. This is the, this is the deluxe edition. Um, got it from Books a Million. Pretty pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to read this. This, this is like one of the most famous Batman storylines out there. This is, um, spoiler alert, when uh, how Batgirl got you know, paralyzed. And uh, lastly, I got two issues of DC Bombshells. Now, I've always been interested in the Bombshells, but... Um, I just never had the chance to read their comic. So here's the DC Bombshells. That's volume one, or issue one, this issue two. All right. And that is it, guys. That's all I got from um, Baltimore Comic Con this year. Um, probably won't go tomorrow. So yeah, maybe next year I might actually make a trip out of it. Um, head Friday, Saturday, and Sunday just to check things out with the guests and whatnot. Hopefully, um, you know, guesses from the Flash can come, or uh, yeah, Arrow, even Arrow, Arrow, even if it's still Arrow. That's fine. So, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and the um, loot haul. And um, yeah, uh, I hope you guys have a, ha a happy Batman Day. It is Batman Day, so celebrate by watching something Batman or reading some Batman. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Like the video, comment on it, and of course, subscribe to the channel. This is T Dino. Bye.